Okay, guys, I am back with another early unboxing. Well, technically not unboxing. This is going to be a review on the DVD version of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now, yes, I do own this movie on Blu-ray, but that did not belong to me. It belongs to my brother. I found this at a pawn shop. I was supposed to pay a dollar on it, but the worker told me 50 cents. So I paid 50 cents for this movie. Um, yes, here's the front, the side, the back, um, and here is the disc. Um, sadly, no digital code. Um, to be honest, I really don't care if it didn't include the digital code. I mean, you can tell, like, the red, the label says DVD plus digital. So, yeah, um, this movie is great. Um, I seen this movie, like, two days after it was released on Blu-ray, in fact, on Blu-ray and DVD, five years ago, um, yes, um, don't get me wrong, um, Spider-Man is a great character, he's been around since 1962, um, Miles, he's been around since 2011, Gwen, Spider-Gwen, she's been around since, like, 2015, and then after that we got another Gwen, uh, from another universe called Gwenpool, she's, like, Deadpool, but she, her outfit is just recolored, like, Barbie colors, like, pink and white, um, Spider-Man Award, who is played by, you guessed it, Ghost Rider himself, Spider-Ham, Penny Parker, also, yes, fun fact, she's played by, um, Kimiko Glenn, you know, the the actress who did the voice of Issy from My Little Pony. Bridget from, um, Close Enough. Uh, who else? Oh, yeah, Nifty from Haspen Hotel. And that's, like, the only three characters I know she played. And I totally forgot Jake Johnson... Um, played Peter Parker, but, yes, Jack Quaid, yep, from The Boys, uh, he played Peter Parker from another universe. So, yeah, um, this, uh, review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. I'm sorry if I made this video, like, this review thingy, whatever you call it now, uh, Three minutes. I'm truly sorry. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe.